Hi, it's Sally from babythrive.com. Uh, I have a few comments about dummies, pacifiers and dummies. These can be really controversial. Uh, many of the parents I meet in the early weeks will say to me, oh, I'm sorry to admit it or I'm embarrassed to say, but we had to cave in and ultimately we've given a dummy and I know we shouldn't and there's a lot of guilt and preconceptions that come with that. Or I meet parents who are really struggling with their child not settling, maybe a baby that has very strong sucking needs or feeling like there's just no gap between feeds. And they will say to me, I know we're not supposed to give a dummy yet or I know I can't give a dummy, but... And they'll ask me about that. So there's a few things to say about this. I don't... I wasn't able to find any robust evidence that points towards various shapes and sizes of dummies being more or less suitable for breastfeeding babies. Another common question is around nipple confusion. Parents worry that if their baby is sucking at the breast, also sucking on a dummy or pacifier and or sometimes using bottles, that the baby will not know what to do with their mouth and will make the wrong shapes. We don't have any robust evidence to show this. There's a blog on my website about paste bottle feeding or intuitive bottle feeding. And it seems like that has got more to do with the, the theory of nipple confusion. Maybe it's more just about the preference for the easy flow of the bottle. So the concern around using dummies is, will your baby miss an opportunity to feed? Will they queue for a feed, be given the dummy and then just settle themselves back to sleep? Will they queue for a feed and waste valuable calories sucking on the dummy instead of actually drinking your milk? If they do this, there's also a concern that they might not be stimulating your milk supply. In the early days, what would be ideal is for all the baby's sucking needs to be met at the breast so that they can work hard to constantly be on the nipple and emptying your breast, stimulating supply, sending oxytocin around. This is the best thing you can do to get your breast milk supply established in the early days. But there are always caveats. There are many families where the parents have lots of other obligations. Maybe you have other children to bring to school or you have other caring needs. You might have a lot on your plate. You might need at times for your baby just to be able to be quiet and calm and to wait for a short time. I know myself, I can picture scenes of being in the car with the baby, like screaming on the motorway and a dummy is just perfect for situations like that. So don't think it's always, don't think it's never. Feel free to ask your lactation consultant because it's going to depend on your situation like how is your milk supply doing are you comfortable with your latch or not what is your baby's temperament uh, dummies can be a really useful tool and they do have a place